Hey guys, it is Mooney Bro uploading another video to this channel. It's been about a week since I have, uh, and, and that's only due to the fact that uh, my team was actually looking for one. After we we had had a team of four for a few months, uh, and, and unfortunately that didn't really work out. Uh, but we finally picked up someone who we were really comfortable with after playing with a bunch of people. But I was super busy playing with people. I mean, you guys have no idea. If you've ever been a team of three looking for one that's actually a serious team, you understand the grind to find a fourth. So that's where I've been. Uh, and, and I'm definitely planning on uploading more than once a week. Uh, but, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that I'm going to have to... I, there's a lot of things I'm excited for is what I'm trying to say. So uh, that being said, I'm going to hop into this commentary. One of the things I'm excited for is Advanced Warfare. And as you can tell from the title of this video, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're actually going to be talking about the game modes in Advanced Warfare. Uh, and I'm making this on a Thursday. I'm not sure when this video will get uploaded uh, to the Whiplash community channel. But I do know that these were conform confirmed. Ex conformed. I don't even know. Uh, but they were confirmed on Thursday. And uh, we know that these 12 game modes are going to be in Advanced Warfare on the release date, on the launch date, which is November 2nd. I mean, that's just right around the corner. So excited. Absolutely excited. Uh, but that being said, I'm just going to go through them, talk a little bit about each one and uh, you'll see them flash on the screen as we go but we're gonna hop into this uh, and oh before I get into it uh, also th there might be more game modes that launch these are just the ones that uh, uh, Sledgehammer confirmed uh, so that that's the deal with this okay so the first three well actually the first four, four uh, are really ones that we expect to be in every single Call of Duty hands down end of discussion period I don't know what else, uh, but you just expect them to be. Uh, the first one is going to be Team Deathmatch. I'm sure you guys know what that is if you're a Call of Duty player. Uh, you know, it goes back to the first Call of Duties, and, and so do all four of these. And uh, basically, you know, kill dependent, team based game mode, you know, typically 6v6. Uh, so that's the first one. Next one, kill confirmed. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of rushing through these first ones because everyone knows them, okay? Kill confirmed. Uh, again, classic, uh, you know, it's kind of taking team deathmatch and, and that kill dependent style and, and forcing a little bit of OBJ work with the tags. Uh, not really OBJ work, but, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Uh, next up, we have free for all, which is again a kill dependent game mode, uh, but it is man versus everyone, or man versus everyone. Man, <laughs> it's like man versus wild or something. Uh, it's it's uh, one for all, or it's a free for all okay one versus everyone I I don't know why I'm struggling to say that but you know what I'm trying to say uh, and then domination now this is the classic objective based game mode you know they used it in COD 4 bunch of other ones for competitive uh, and ghosts of course but glad we're not having to or I, at least I hope we don't have to use domination in, in advanced warfare that would be tragic uh, unless it played amazingly well for some reason uh, but yeah domination uh, three objective points one point every five seconds for each flag you hold that sort of thing pretty standard uh, like I said so those are the four ones that you expect to be in no matter what uh, and then the next three are actually going to be the three competitive ones we're actually going to be using hopefully in advanced warfare uh, unless something comes up and we want to use different ones uh, but we have hardpoint okay that one oh my gosh I love it so much I mean hardpoint and league play really launched the competitive scene to where it is today and that's just something you got to be excited about I mean Great, it's where we, we saw roles being defined and then people could relate to different players depending on their play style. And, and that's where it all started. So really excited to see our point, uh, the rotation of the hills, that sort of thing. Next up, capture the flag, wonderful game mode. I mean, y you guys know what it is. Uh, you know, you have your home flag, you have the enemy flag, you have to get the enemy flag, return it to your own home flag, get a point. Really low scoring game and you have to get cuts and it requires a lot of teamwork as well. So really excited to see that. Speaking of teamwork, next up we have Search and Destroy. Love it. Uh, I don't know what Ghost was thinking when they didn't put it in at the start of Ghost, but hey, we're going to get it at the start of this game, okay? So uh, really excited about that, of course. I'm sure you guys are too, Search and Destroy. You just expect it to be in a Call of Duty until Ghost decided not to put it in. Instead, they put Search and Rescue in, which is our next game mode. Uh, that's also going to be in Advanced Warfare. I don't really care about it. It's kind of weird in my opinion. Uh, and next, we have two game modes that may be in competitive. We have Uplink, okay, which is the one where you have the two portals. If you score the ball, you, there's one ball. If you score it into the enemy portal, then you get one point. Or if you throw it into the enemy portal, you get one point. If you walk it into the enemy portal, you get two. I'm not sure if that'll really work out, but we'll see. Uh, and then also we have Momentum, which is basically War from COD 5, if, COD 5, if you ever played that. Uh, that's basically what it is. 
Then the last two we're going to see on, on the release uh, date here coming up on November 2nd is uh, Gun Game and Infected. I'm going to group those together. They're two party modes. Uh, gun Game is a classic, uh, you know, you, you have to work through all the guns in a free-for-all type setting. And then Infected, you gotta love Infected. I mean, you, you're, you're waiting for a GB match, hopping some Infected. Uh, and that'll be interesting to see how that plays. I don't know if the Infected will be able to, like, jump up early on. We'll see. But that's gonna wrap it up for me. Check out my YouTube channel, MooneyBroYT, and thanks for watching.